Hi, I'm Eric Youngren, Second Vice President for the National Association of Wheat Growers, and this is our Urban Wheat Field. Um, starting over here, we've got wheat that's been planted maybe a month ago or six weeks. It's, this is called the tillering stage. And then we move into heading and jointing. If you look closely through these pallets, you can see, like this is, this is in boot. You can see the wheat head is forming in the plant. And uh, in a few days, it shoots out of the plant, similar to these. There's a little pollen on that one. And moving on, as the wheat heads, it, it continues to grow taller and taller and taller until it reaches the maximum height. And now it starts to dry down. And if you grind it up in your hand, blow on it, you get the kernels. And that would be a milk, a milk stage. And we need it to be hard before it's ripe. So that you could only, you couldn't even dent it with your finger. It would be crunchy when you chew it. As it dries down, it starts to lose its color. And this wheat gets to be about two months to three months old before it's ready to, to harvest. This stuff here is still milk, but it's turning to dough. And when we get to the end, we would get ready for harvest. And this would be your hard red wheat in its finished product. So this would be ready to combine with the great big machine on the end and it would begin its journey from wheat to flour to bread, cereal, Twinkies and Pop-Tarts. 